how to create a multi-vendor e-commerce website in WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a multi-vendor WordPress website. So let's get into it. Now to create this, we're going to be using a theme. So this particular theme is called the Dokken theme and you have to download this. It's available for free as well as multiple different paid plans. Now in the free version, you can add unlimited vendors and order management. However, if you choose to upgrade, you have additional features like commissions, social logins, powerful reports, vendor management, and more. And then you also have options such as Stripe Express, store support, vendor reviews, as well as the business version, which includes PayPal, marketplaces, product advertising, requests for quotations, and more. Now, we're going to get started on our WordPress dashboard. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over to WordPress and click on plugins on the left panel. Once you click on plugins, click on add new plugin over here. And just search for WooCommerce because we are looking to sell products. You do have to uh, proceed with WooCommerce if you want. You can go with another application as well. But I just prefer WooCommerce. So I'm just going to continue on over here. And we're just going to install our theme and then click on activate over here. And once we set up WooCommerce, we can get started with installation. So we're just going to set up our store, click on continue over here like this. We're just going to continue on everything. So WooCommerce is completely installed on to our WordPress site. So I have just downloaded WooCommerce and once we've completed downloading WooCommerce, we can set this up later, but we want to move to our Doken theme, which is the most, you know, important part. So you're going to go on to Doken.co and from here you can just scroll down and then on the free version you can just click on download you can choose to buy a premium version as well and if you go on to the theme section on the top and you click on themes over here you will see they have the free token theme available as well and you can just click on demo to you know demo the theme as well but we're going to go directly into wordpress and once we've downloaded the free version of token we're going to go into our themes and appearance so first off we're just going to click on appearance over here on the left panel and then we're going to click on add a new theme and from here we're going to open up our downloads and just unzip the token file and you will see you know all the information you have a readme section as well how you can customize it and more but we're just going to unzip this and then what we're going to do is go on to upload theme click on choose file and then just go on to over here and you can just open this up like so and we're just going to click on install i'm just uploading the entire zip file so it's easier for wordpress to integrate all the elements together as well now i'm just going to wait a couple of seconds for the theme installation now if it is not downloading properly or it's not uploading properly just find the css file I can just click on choose file, just take a look at everything and make sure that the CSS files have been added. It does have the CSS files over here as well as dummy data. So I'm just going to redo my upload over here and I'm just going to complete this installation. So now that our theme has been published, you can see we have a customization option over here. So we can get started with customization of our multi-vendor theme by Doken. So I'm just going to start customizing our store. So you can configure this manually. You can also do this directly by, you know, automating all of it by the initial settings, but I'm going to go into WordPress and we're going to configure this with WooCommerce or any other selling platform that you're using. So primarily it is WooCommerce. So I'm just going to be using WooCommerce for this example. And I'm just going to head on over to WooCommerce over here. Now, once I go into WooCommerce, I am going to go into extensions and it will click on themes over here. And you'll see there are some WooCommerce themes as well. You have your subscriptions as well as the discover section. Now, if you go into the settings of WooCommerce, you will see some of the most important things such as your country or state. Then you have the options of where you're selling your product. So 
what you're going to do is, let's say I want to sell to specific countries and I can choose those regions. Let's say I want to sell to Canada over here like this and I want to select this, you know, select all or select none like this, you know, whichever one you want. Then you also have your tax calculation as well as coupon codes. Now, after that, you have currency options where you can select the currency as well as the position of the currency. So let's say I want Canadian dollars. So I'm just going to search for Canadian dollars and I want this um, on right with a space. Then after that, you have the thousand separator, decimal separator, as well as number of decimals. Now after that, we are going to just save our changes. And then we can go into the next section where we have product as well as shipping. So we're going to go into our WooCommerce settings. And so now we're going to go into products. Now in product in WordPress, it's very essential that you build categories, you know, categorize your products based on the vendor can be super helpful just to make it simpler for you to create your store. Now, after that, one thing to keep in mind is that when you are building, you know, this multiple different uh, vendors, you're going to go into plugins and search for the Dokani extension. Um, usually it is a great way to just help you set up multiple vendors and a plugin. You can click on Dokken over here and we're just going to, you know, download the Dokken extension and click on activate. Now, once you do this, this can really make your entire template just so much more customizable. So we're going to click on let's go over here. Now, you can just start configuration over here. So we have our store, we have everything. We're just going to skip this all over here, but we're going to go into our next step, which is our vendor enable setting. So I want to turn this on and the commission type to be percentage base. And I want there to be a 10% commission for each order that my vendors place on my website. You know, whenever a third party seller is making a sale off of my WordPress site, I want a commission. So I'm going to have that from here. Then we have the order status change. So if a vendor can change the order status, I'm not gonna enable this. So I'm just gonna click on continue. Then we have our withdrawal. So over here, whether we want bank transfer, PayPal, withdrawal limits as well. So let's say I want to set no withdrawal limits so all of the vendors can withdraw their money if they want. So I'm going to set this as blank and then I'm going to click on continue. And the order status needs to be completed. So after that, we have the recommended integrations. I'm not going to add the mail and text integration. I'm only going to use the WooCommerce tracking uh, integration to make it simpler and just like that I can visit my token dashboard from where I can you know manage everything so I'm just going to open up the token plugin over here in our dashboard or our token dashboard and then we can go into our vendors product as well as sales as well as commissions that we've earned so I can go into the vendor section over here and I can go on ahead and add you know vendors or users in my wordpress account and i can activate vendors as well like this to make it easier for me to run my wordpress store and make sure that we have multiple different types of products and availability of products with Doken. so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more content and i will catch you guys in the next video